In today's quick tip, I'm going to show you a simple trick to make more balls. The trick I'm going to show you in this video is called using the right rail when making balls. But don't we make balls into the pocket? So what have rails to do with making balls? And what is the right and wrong rail? I will give you the answer in a minute. But first I want to announce real quick the winners of my Patreon giveaway. The Kuvis shaft cleaner goes to Russell Harrison. The Predator chalk set goes to Niels. The book Pleasures of Small Motion goes to Carlos Lopez. The Kamui glove goes to Carlos Torres. The Jim Rampy training ball goes to Justin Newman. And the Fury break and jump cue goes to Angle. Congratulations and a lot of fun with your new tools to all the winners. The winner of the pool ball set from Aramid will be announced on 1st of August. If you haven't participated yet, check out my video How to Run Out 8 Ball and leave a comment. And now let's start with today's lesson. So what have rails to do with making balls? First of all, we have to make clear that this trick or approach only works for the corner pockets. And I will show you why. Let's use this pocket for example. Now take the straight line that leads into the heart of the pocket. If the object ball is on that line, there is no right or wrong wheel. However, if the object ball is positioned on this side of the line, it becomes more and more clear why the long rail becomes the right rail and the short rail becomes the wrong rail. Imagine you're not hitting center pocket but a rail instead. If you hit the short rail, the object ball has no chance to drop. If you hit the long rail instead, the cue ball has a high chance to still drop. And the closer the object ball is positioned towards the long rail, the more you can hit the rail away from the pocket so that the object ball still drops. Of course, if the object ball is on this side of the straight line, the short rail becomes the right rail and the long rail the wrong rail to hit. So don't get me wrong, we always aim to the center of the pocket and not into a rail of course. But I think every pool player knows this feeling when shooting a ball, when down at the shot, that you somehow can predict that if you don't hit center pocket, that the cue ball will drift to a certain side. So we have to make sure that if we don't hit center pocket, that at least the object ball will hit the right rail and not the wrong rail. This will give us a much higher chance to still make the ball. And especially on new cloth where the rails are still really slippery, this can make a huge difference. The object ball didn't go anywhere close to the pocket, but still dropped because it hit the right rail. So this was my quick tip for today. What are your thoughts on the topic? Do you know that feeling when down at the shot? that you know you are probably going to miss to a certain side, let me know in the comments. And what do you think of my new pool table design by the way? Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you in the next lesson. Take care.